How, how significant do you think it is that the government appears to be making some, some moves, at least on in increasing public sector wages? I think what's significant is that it's only part of the government that's making the move. Um, I think we're getting briefings from number 10 um, that this is going to happen. But when we hear the detail of the announcement, it's the pay is going to be taken from within existing budgets. So it sounds like Hammond and the Treasury are not really on board with it actually unpicking austerity. They're kind of trying to have a political announcement. Um, cynically, you could say this was announced last week when it was the TUC conference and Corbyn's speech, Dare Corbyn's speech, and he was all talking about pay and austerity anyway. So we have this announcement on that day, which is actually almost seems like it's designed to please no one because it's a below inflation rise from within existing budgets and the unions immediately reject it. Mm. Um, so it doesn't feel to me like they've got a significant strategy yet or an answer to the concerns about austerity. I know that Nicola Sturgeon in Scotland has said that they will lift the mm -hmm. uh, pay cap um, up there. Um, have they said at what level they'll pitch it at? Um, is it an inflation rise or is it just more I don't than 1%? I think they have. Um, I think it's just more than 1%. I, I mean, I think the interesting thing about the, the programme for government, I and mean, it was at the same time as Corbyn's speech, yeah. was that initially you felt, God, this is the, the kind of, they are moving to the left with this, get rid of the pay freeze. They we're talking about a citizen's income, which has been a fringe issue yeah. now, suddenly on the political agenda. And afterwards, everybody had to sit back and go, and how will this be paid for? Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll need Boris Johnson's £350 million a week, because you know, mm. it'll be Barnett consequentials. But I think that's, that's the big thing. So mm. in Scotland, there's now this debate going to happen about tax. And as you know, you don't go into an election talking about raising yeah. taxes. Mm -hmm. um, but the problem remains that the sums don't really add up in Scotland. Well, I think ultimately, the, the big call on the Exchequer isn't going to be public sector pay. It's going to be the effect of the decision to leave the European Union yeah. because that is going to be yeah. vastly expensive, not in just in terms of uh, the, the, the money that we will require to be paid into the European Union uh, as part of this divorce deal, but just the cost in terms of the pressure on, uh, on jobs and, their, and therefore on welfare payments. And you sort of, you know, you look, how the hell do we replace what's happening uh, in farming and agriculture? Because but I thought, well, I thought that coming out of the EU was going to save us three hundred. Fifteen a week. No, I think I'm on sure the, on the pay, the OBR has they've budgeted, haven't they? Thirty billion, I think it is, that they're expecting the government will be paying in transition mm. um, or in payments in some sort. And I think you're right. There's going to be a cost, um, not just in jobs outside of the public sector, but in the public sector. Mm. We're going to be bringing work back from Europe. We're going to have uh, Chris Skidmore said twenty new public bodies to replicate the functions that Europe does now. Um, and we can see the civil service has actually been rising in the last three or four quarters and they've had a third more temporary and consultant But the, the economy is going months. to contract as yeah. a result yeah. of the and so we're going to need yeah. more public sector contracting yeah. economy, both of those things. But I think I agree with that, but there's also a, another longer term pressure, which is the ageing population. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. been there before. That's not going to go away. And no but also really, the people yeah, yeah. that are servicing that, the health and social mm. care industry, are often coming from outside our own country yeah. and are not being paid yeah. high wages, that's going to have to be dealt with. Yeah. So you've got to but there's all these the problems that, 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 yeah. that are just being ignored because Brexit's yeah. just sucking yeah. life yeah. out of the right. sector yeah. in the political debate. Mm. There's technology, automation, how that's going to affect the job market. There's yeah. these huge, huge yeah. challenges that absolutely. over the next decade Nobody's are going to absolutely revolutionise. So, if dem so demands on the uh, exchequer are rising exponentially yeah. with pay, uh, an element, of, fair enough, mm. but you know, there's no suggestion that the tax base is extending no. it's probably yeah. it's contracting yeah. and you know so i think we at the time uh, we were supposed to be still be trying to bring down uh, our debt yeah. exactly so yeah. there's no real well, argument employment's gone up but the no, tax precisely. take has gone down nothing has changed for the good